Hi, this is Dan. Welcome to my uh, the inaugural episode of my Dusker's Weekly Challenge for Week 19 of 2017. Here's how uh, last week finished up. Um, not surprisingly, given the crazy score I wound up racking up in the last episode, I came in first by a long shot. Um... That's not skill so much as it is just having um, figured out the math and the crazy disparity between the value of drone hit points and scrap in the weekly as opposed to the daily. I'm actually surprised given that I see other people who also play the dailies and who are conscious of, you know paying attention to points up here. I mean, we've got Burning Ass Taco at number four, and I've seen Ash White and a couple of others crop up from time to time. But, you know, also this is a lot closer to campaign mode, and it's less fun in some ways to play for score than it is to... um, just play to explore all of the different derelicts you can. So I get that. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's a little bit sad sometimes because it would be nice to have some competition. Just saying. Anyway, um, looks like in the top ten... Four of us actually got to the Stargate and finished. That would be me, that would be Kubuano, NG question mark, that would be Blue Leader, and it would be Tiny Mimes, who has been showing up in the uh, on the leaderboard of the dailies from time to time as well. If I recall correctly, the um, the starting score last week was hmm. I've written on the dry erase board up above my uh, my computer 3692, and I think that might be right. In which case, it's only the top three who actually finished above the starting score, um, for what that's worth. Anyway, um, so that's last week. Yay me, I won. Um, And I already started and immediately stopped week 19 just so we could have, uh, without me having to do math and embarrassing myself by being unable to calculate, um, we would have the starting score. So the starting score here, which I'm now going to write on the dry erase board above my computer, is 3092. So that's our baseline, and um, let's have a look at this. Oh, and it's one of these where I'm probably going to have to go and and spelunk around and find a transport ship upgrade and then start plundering outposts, which if you've spent any time in campaign mode dealing with outposts or spent any time at all dealing with transport ship upgrade, you'll know is a treat. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, uh, that starting system name. But let's see what we have. Okay, this seems like it's pretty standard fare at this point. Start with the interface, which is always nice, especially at the outset, and a sensor. 130, 90, and 70, so not the most high-powered starting stable, but okay. And this is a salvage bee with two infestation types. It's not too old, age 230. Okay, I can... This isn't going to be as nasty a galaxy, I don't think, or at least not across the board as last week's was. 
okay, we already know where our exit point is. Oh, and the galaxy is called Dexter, and mainly these days that makes me think of a uh, of an American cable drama, you know, involving a uh, serial killer. So this might very well turn out to be homicidal, or it might just be me free associating. Who knows? Let's see what we've got. Okay, I'm mainly just trying to get the lay of the land to see how much of this is outpost inflected. And <laughs> stores and outposts, that's pretty much what we've got. Yep. Couple of space, or yeah, space stations, gas stations. And something I'm either superstitious about or right about is I don't generally want to check the system with the Stargate until I'm heading for the system with the Stargate because I've found in the past or I've noticed in the past and this might not actually be how it works but um, you have a look at the system that has the Stargate and then you go and do other things and exit and then you know you save the game and continue later often the stargate bugs out so <clears throat> and here's another thing the um you know i justified last week escaping to the main menu twice in the first episode, I think. I'm still feeling a little bit queasy about that, so I'm going to try not to do that this time. I mean, we'll see. If if I start to die like a pig on the salvage bee, and it's over too quickly, then maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll revisit that. But I'm going to try to live the, with the consequences of whatever happens on a given ship. And that also means that I'm going to probably be a lot more careful and conservative so that bad shit doesn't happen. But anyway, it is time to visit the Salvage Bee of the Dion because that's all we've got. Yeah, you never start with any ship configurations. Hello, Justice Rider. I hate that name. And see what we can do here. <sighs> Electronics in the hold. It's a collector. Oh, and this room isn't actually powered. That sucks. Okay, well. There's an airlock anyway. Oh, there's other stuff too. Okay. Okay. Helps to explore the whole thing. It really does. we got okay oh my room six killed one okay well we'll survey it and we'll ship scan it ooh and we have a drone that we can salvage nice
getting ahead of myself here, but we might even be able to commandeer this ship. And none of these have vents, which is nice. Okay, so what an infestation type is a leaper. And censor this bad boy as well. Should have dropped a sensor in here. Not sure why, but I'm not feeling like this is a slime ship. It's too small. But, um. Unless it's slime, it should be in there by now, I think. No, Doc, a seven, not a two. But I don't want to lose the toe if it's just a sluggish leaper. So, swap. So it could be another sluggish leaper. In a ship this size, only eight rooms, there's probably only one of each infestation type, but still and yet. Still and yet because I'm not going to allow myself to escape to main menu here. I need to be far more cautious. We do have time, too, because this isn't, this isn't a ship that's like completely falling apart. have a broken down sensor, but still, you're somebody else for our stable, and that means points. So we care about that. Probably gonna have to use our one to check out our seven as well. Yeah, okay. D16, that's fine. D15, dock A7, so we can murder whatever that is with the turret. enemies so it's swarm okay I 
R2, did R2 power R4? Seems to me like it must have. So it didn't power R3. Yeah, R3. Okay. Well, unless there's a vent in there. Which there could be. Okay, there's not. Fine. Getting a little bit over nervous. I am concerned about Swarm. a vent in there. ships with swarm and vents. LB has a theory. It may be more than a theory, I don't know. Um, but I've never asked him to explain it, and I probably should. Um, but he has... He believes that Vents will continue spawning swarm until all of the initial infestations are dead. And I don't know if that's true. Okay, I'm not going to drive a generator in there. So we're going to dock a four. We don't have to worry about slime, so it's fine. And dock a four. One and three. And then we're going to dock a five. And see if there's another leaper swarm hiding out in there. If there is, we just retreat back to R3 and it'll all be fine. I'm just going to assume that that was long enough to wait. Faces, so unless we had multiple generators, this is the only part of the ship we're going to be able to ship scan. Well, you know, that's one ship upgrade, and that's taken up by the collector. We're going to be going to a store. 
a store soon and um, as much as I would love to leave the Justice Rider behind I don't think I can do it Collector is handy but only if you have other upgrade slots because as soon as I find a remote power or something I'm going to want to use it so okay Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can salvage here. That was that was a remarkably clean run, though, for a weekly challenge derelict. Of course, my experience right now is very much informed by last week, where it was all like three and four infestation types, and the ships were falling apart. So there was no way you could explore each of them. So this will be a different one this week. That's nice. That is nice. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave. Okay, nothing's broken down. We added Tommy. Welcome aboard, Tommy. And, um... And we've exhausted the possibilities of the Yomen Doche system. See, I got my courage up and actually took a stab at pronouncing it. Oh, and Tommy is a 120. That's nice. So where do we go next? Well, <laughs> we we got 10 scrap off of that, so maybe where we go next is to a store. Barjay with three, not loving that. We, we did get an extra jump fuel too though, so that's good, so. And all you have is a store, but assuming we maybe got a transporter, these are... Uh, couldn't visit the military outpost anyway because we don't have a military ship, but these are all twos, an unknown, and a three. Okay. That might not be bad. This is a fuel depot D with only two, and a space station C, and another store. Well, if we go up to W, that burns two fuel two jump fuel. If we go up to P, that burns a jump fuel, which would allow us to get back to Z, but if I take a northern route and start with W, I have to hope that somewhere in there I find or am able, or I get enough scrap to be able to buy from a store jump fuel. And this one, yeah, this is one that only has a store, so I don't, I don't quite see the value in that. Osheries, okay, I think that's where we're going next. Oh, we also have a propulsion, and an extra propulsion fuel, that's nice. I might have noticed that at the time, but I didn't really remember it. Ooh, and a mine and a second generator, and of course here's the transporter. I don't need a long-range scanner, I think this is a small thing we've got going on here. <sighs> hmm, well we definitely want the mine. 
we want some sort of offensive weapon. I think we can drop this sensor, swap it for a generator, and use those last three scrap to start building Tommy up. Okay, then we don't have a remote power, but we do have two generators anyway, which will come in handy. And if it never comes in handy, that's perfectly cool because we can just cash those back into scrap for equal value, provided they don't break, and then just pump them into drone hit points. So... Tommy, you'll be a tough guy again one of these days, but right now you're kind of our weak link, so you're just going to be our backup guy. Okay. Ship convig. Okay, and what do we've got in here? Industrial outpost unknown. Medical outpost two. And, the mil and a military outpost we're not going to be able to get into. So, X, H, X, 2, 2, 3, to get to the space station. See if we decide to do that. Uh, or 4. Well, we definitely want to visit the fuel depot because... We are going to need more fuel. Well, maybe. What's in Q? Or Oberic? Oh, there's actually some ships in here. Check that shit out. Yay. All right. And uh, Enduring Hope, a military A vessel. That sounds like an American military euphemism. <laughs> Techie A with one infestation type. Well, shit. That's a destination. But, um, okay. Maybe we'll just screw around down here and not even bother with Kexel or Juniper. Juniper sounds, you know, lovely and f desert, foresty, and picturesque. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um, as I said last week, and I utterly failed to do so, um, you know, I'm trying to make these relatively short, so if you choose to watch them, it isn't like, oh wow, there's 55 minutes of my life, and a lot of it with Dan nattering on about various bits of, of weekly challenge-related bullshit. So I think we're just going to call this here, because we've done one derelict, we've done one store, we're out of the first system, and we're actually in pretty good shape here. So yeah, let's just exit to the main menu, challenge, leaderboards, Okay, and we started with 3092. We're already up at 3466. That's that's a good start. I mean, obviously, a bunch of that is because we sunk three scrap into whatever the name of our new drone is. But um, we're moving along quite nicely. And, um, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. And... Um, and yeah, in a little while, I'll hopefully see you again for episode two of the week 19 run. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.